What's up everyone, it's Synchron here, and today I want to talk to you all about custom cards for Earthbound Immortals because we got a new leaked card called Earthbound Overwalker. It's a, it's a new support card for Earthbound Immortals. If you control a Synchro on your side of the field and in the grave, you can special summon it from your hand, which is really beneficial because it's a level 8 and you're not going to go old school and tribute material just to get it on your side of the field. That's just going to take way too long, and in today's meta, if anything, a first turn kill is possible. I'll explain more about the card later in the video, so let's get started. Alright, so starting off with the monster, Earthbound Overwalker. It's a Fiend effect monster, and what it does is you can special summon this card from your hand as long as you have a Synchro in your grave and a Synchro on your side of the field. Easy way to special summon it, no problem, because it's, it's a level 8, and if anything, you're going to have a better time getting this card out with its first effect, then tributing monsters to get it out on your side of the field. And what it does is during your main phase, you can add an Earthbound Immortal Monster from your deck to your hand, which is e which is already a bonus considering you don't have to draw into the Earthbound Immortals uh, to hopefully get them on your side of the field. <laughs> but um, its second effect is if Earthbound immortal monster is normal summoned while this card's on the field you can make your opponent's uh, life points 3000 now that's not bad i do enjoy it if you're but like um i do enjoy it if you do manage to get this card like maybe like your second turn or even first turn and make your opponent drop from 8000 life points to 3000 but my issue with this card is i feel as if it's just too slow because Earthbound Immortals, first off, they need a field spell to be on the field. This card does not protect Earthbound Immortals from destroying themselves if there's no field spell. So my second problem with this card is to get its final effect to activate, to make your opponent's life points 3000, you have to normal summon an Earthbound Immortal monster. Let that sink in. You ha uh, let that sink in. To, uh, to actually fully use this card, you'd have to sync. You'd have to have materials in your hand to synchro summon. To be able to synchro summon again to get that first synchro monster into the grave to get a synchro monster on your side of the field. No problem there. Then you're able to normal. No, you're able to special summon Overwalker to your side of the field. What are the chances of you having all those materials and then like being able to search a field spell, get an Earthbound Immortal Monster from your deck to your hand, which isn't that hard with Overwalker, but I'm just saying like relatively, like what are the off chances you're able to get like a field spell, Earthbound Immortal uh, in your hand and normal summon it all in one turn? If anything, this just feels like a... um. It feels like a card that would just take a bit longer to set up and actually uh, inflict enough damage to your opponent. I don't know. Like in my opinion, that's just like my, that's just like my idea as to like it's kind of slow. But then again, I've been proven wrong like time after time with how fast today's meta has gone. So I mean, like by all means, like if something does happen, go ahead, like yell at me in the comment section down below. But that's just my opinion of the card right now. Alright, so enough of my rambling, let's move on to the custom cards, and the first one we have is Earthbound Sanctuary. It's a field spell, so mainly for the original Earthbound Immortal Monsters. Anyways, while, while you control no monsters, you can add an Earthbound Monster from your deck to your hand, and it says Earthbound Monster, not Earthbound Immortal, so this card does not restrict you uh, to adding the original Earthbound Monsters from your deck to your hand, and you're going to activate this card once per turn. And during that turn, you must either summon that monster that was added from your deck to your hand or discard it during the end phase. But that'll do it for this one. Let's move on. Next up on our list, we have Earthbound Offering. It's a continuous spell, and what this card does is every time a monster is normal summoned, you place a Earthbound counter on its card. And if you would tribute summon for Earthbound Immortal Monster, you can remove counters from this card, meeting its requirements to normal summon an Earthbound Immortal Monster. Now, because Earthbound Immortals require two monsters for the Tribute Summon, you can remove about two um, counters from this card. Um, yeah, sorry. Move, remove two counters from this card and 
you know, to fit the requirements of the Earthbound Immortal to get it on your side of the field much faster. Next up, we have a trap card, Second Coming of the Earthbound. Pretty basic. Uh, you're supposed to summon an Earthbound monster from your grave to your side of the field. In attack position, you must control a field spell on the field to activate this card. So for the final trap, we have Wrath of the Earthbound. What this card does, you basically tribute an Earthbound Immortal monster you control and inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the original attack of that Earthbound Immortal monster that you tributed to activate this card's effect. That's basically it. Just burn your opponent. Alright, so as of now, we don't really have any Earthbound Synchros, so I figured I'd make my own. Anyways, we have Earthbound Servant, a dark attribute, level 1 tuner for the Earthbound Archetype, and what this card does, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you add an Earthbound Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, and if this card's in the grave, you can banish it if you do add a Earthbound Spell or Trap from your grave to your hand. Basically, kind of a research and recycle for the Spell and Traps, I uh, gain the effects once per turn, and if anything, if you if you uh, if we do have like smaller monsters for the synchro summons, you know, one for one, this card on your side of the field, get a free spell or trap, synchro summon, banish, return a trap from your grave to your hand. That simple. So for the final monster on this list, we have Earthbound Warlock, a level seven synchro dark attribute monster. Fiend type, synchro, effect. One tuner, one non-tuner, dark attribute monster. When this card is synchro summoned, you can add a earthbound monster from your deck to your hand. Not earthbound immortal, I made this card earthbound monster specifically to search, to search out the tuner as well. Or any other synchro, any other um, earthbound monsters we do manage to get into the eh, in the future. Anyways, if this synchro summoned card is sent to the grave, you can target one of its materials used for the Synchro Summon and shuffle it back into the deck. Both effects, once per turn, and that'll do it for the list. Before I go, I wanted to thank everybody who's actually watched my videos to the end. If you skipped, don't worry, it won't really bother as well, as long as you liked what I put out for you to watch on the channel. Deck profiles and... Well, discussions, discussion videos are a bit of a rare thing for me. I did do a discussion on who I wanted to fight Lightning, who I, uh, how I wanted um, the Bowman battle to go, but that was about a couple months ago. And this is something new on my channel, basically uh, custom cards that may or may not come to my mind that I feel as if could be fun for certain archetypes. And, you know, like, for example, Artibana Mortal is definitely a, definitely a favorite from the 5Ds era, especially to me when I was little. All I wanted to do was at least own the Earthbound Motor cards, which I do now. However, playing them made me realize how slow they are, how inconsistent they can be. And the only builds we can make of them that are effective are burn builds. And even then, they aren't that good. And so before I go, like I said, thank you for all those who watch my channel. Um, if you don't like what I post, by all means, have your voice heard. Like, why you don't like my video? Um, as for whether I'd reply... Well, we'll see, because I'm usually busy doing my um, living life. AKA, by living life, I mean suffering in school. <laughs> Degrees mean everything and all, but my gosh, they will drain your wallet. They will drain your bank account for those classes, for those books especially. But yeah, I try to do the video. I, well, the reason why I wanted to do the discussion video is mainly because... I had all these ideas on my mind. I really wanted to get them out on the channel as fast as possible before, you know, it's too late. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Subscribe if you're new. Share the video with a friend or someone who's interested. Like, dislike, do what you feel is necessary. And, yeah. See you all next time.